Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a variation of the Duracell Jig Nymph. Uh, it's a very effective Euro nymphing pattern if you've never tried it out. I would highly recommend it. Don't let the purple fool you. It's super effective fly. For the hook today, I'm starting out with a A-Rex Freshwater 555 and 14. You can obviously tie them in various sizes. For the bead today, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter slotted tungsten bead in silver. And for the thread on this fly, I'm using Semperfly Nano Silk in 30 denier today in the color purple. I'm using this really just to uh, keep the profile of this fly as thin as possible. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this thread right behind the bead. Snip my tag off with my Renamed scissors. Super sharp, check them out if you haven't. For the tail, I'm using Whiting Tailing Pack. This is Coq de Leon or CDL in Dark Pardo. I'm going to grab anywhere from half a dozen to a dozen fibers. I don't think it is necessary to really count how many there are. I'm going to go ahead and pluck them off from the stem with the tips aligned as best as possible. I'm going to measure the tail about the length of the body and go ahead and give it four or five securing wraps. And I always like to double check the tail just for consistency's sake and adjust it if needed. I'm going to go ahead and bring my thread back to right where the bend of the hook starts. And then I'm going to grab my next material. For this fly, I'm using hollow tinsel in medium, again in the color purple. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this in, right, starting right at the back. Again, I'm doing this to just try and keep this fly as simple or as uh, thin and slim as possible. If you need to wrap it back forward and then start wrapping in that tinsel right behind the bead, obviously do whatever you need to do. For the wire on this fly, I'm using Sabai flat wire. This is the size ultra fine wide in silver. I'm going to go ahead and bring that back all the way to the tie-in point and return my thread to the bead. Once I've done that, I'm going to take this tinsel and start wrapping it forward to right behind the bead. Once I get there and everything looks good, I will tie this off with a couple wraps of thread over top of this tinsel and in front of the tinsel to really make sure it's not going anywhere. Snip your tinsel. And then go ahead and take open spiral wraps the, over the tinsel with your wire. We're going to cover all of this with some UV resin, some solar as bone dry, so don't need it to be too secure or worry about it going anywhere, as the bone dry is going to keep everything in place. So again, I'll go ahead and hit it with some solar as bone dry, just a super thin layer. If you had add too much, just go ahead and take your fingers and take some of it off, and then hit it with that UV light to cure it. Once you've cured that UV resin, go ahead and grab the collar material. Here I'm using a custom blend of dubbing that I have created. I call it the Perfect Blend Dubbing. It's a mixture of CDC, Flash, and Squirrel. Go ahead and take a pinch of that out. Flatten out your thread and split your thread. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, I will link a tip video I've done a while back on the splitting thread to make it a little bit easier. But you could also use touch dubbing here if you'd like with some wax. Or you can simply just take a piece and or a couple clumps of this dubbing and really just lay it over that bead and tie it in. Really you just want this collar to be nice and buggy. Uh, however you get that on there is best. You can also just use a simple dubbing noodle and then brush it out later. But again, I'm going to go ahead and split my thread here, get my dubbing noodle where I want it, brush those fibers back with every stroke, and once I'm done there I'm going to go ahead and whip finish and this fly is done. So I'm going to go ahead and give it uh, two, three, or four turn whip finishes. Make sure that knot is well seated. Once I've done that, I'll then go ahead and snip my thread off. And there you have it. Again, this is a variation of the Duracell Jig Nymph, uh, just the way that I like to tie it. Fish them, tie them up. Let me know what you think. Thanks for checking in.